Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Singapore. I've been trying to go to all the really popular Parada places around the island. A lot of people told me to come here. This place is called Mr. Parada. It's getting kind of hungry uh, pretty late at night. It's about 9 p.m. right now. This place opens till 1 a.m. And while I've been here in Singapore, whenever I'm starving, Parada, curry, one of the first things I crave, some of my go-to food items. Anyway, I just put in my order, got a garlic parada and a chicken curry. And before the food gets here, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. I've been telling you guys about Surfshark VPN for several years now. It's still something I use every single day. And if you don't use a VPN service right now, I highly recommend you do. First of all, for security. Everybody is traveling more now. You're gonna be connected to all sorts of different hotspots at hotels, cafes, airports, train stations. These hotspots are usually not very secure and are great ways for people to gain access to your personal information. And I use this example a lot. You notice that whenever you're Google searching something or chatting with your friends about something, all of a sudden they ask for whatever you're talking about or whatever related to whatever you're talking about, start popping up everywhere. That's just one basic example of people getting access to your personal information. People can also gain access to your IP, find your exact location. You gotta protect your digital information. And what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network but what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to your personal info, they're not gonna have access to it. Surfshark also has something called Surfshark Alerts. So when someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. And on the entertainment and also just, just daily basic use side of things. If you wanna gain access to streaming services from different countries, check out other countries' streaming catalog, you can actually utilize Search for VPN to make something like Netflix think that you're actually in a different country, so you can gain access to another country's video catalog. Or if you're traveling abroad and you want access to your US streaming services, like I do pretty much every single day, so you can watch TVs and movies that you pay for. And speaking of paying for things, sometimes I can't even pay bills from out of the country. The website, which is not even low. So I have to use Search for VPN to basically help major companies collect their so if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. Use my promo called Mikey Chen. You'll get 83% off plus three additional months for free and try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, you get your money back. Food just got here. Oh, check this out. I think I didn't order enough Prada. Give you a giant piece of chicken in your curry. But also the product comes with curry already and I only got one. And I got a garlic parada to start with. Some more, of course, are on the way. It's one of my favorite things, just, just trying out different parada places around the island. Chicken curry is rich, it's flavorful. I wish it was a little more heat here. The product is so flaky. Super crispy on the outside, just perfect for dipping. Mm. I love how wherever you go for Prada, it always comes out super fresh. I already tried out most of the uh, chicken rice places on the island. Now I'm going through the Prada places. Ooh, now the heat is hitting me. I like how much chicken you get with the curry here. Oh, it's huge garlic flavor from this burrata. I think my favorite is still the one that everyone recommended to me. The one right by um, the Upper Thompson MRT. That's a mind blowing burrata place. That's definitely my favorite overall, but honestly, they're all delicious. I mean, you can't find something nearly this good in the States. Mm. I'm gonna eat up, go to bed. Uh, food day continues tomorrow after a haircut. Hey guys, Mike here in Singapore. Today is another buffet day. There's a lot of Japanese all-you-can-eat buffets here in Singapore, and this one is supposed to be one of the best. So this Japanese buffet is called Hima Wari. It's an a la carte, all you can eat Japanese buffet. So everything is cooked fresh for you. So you look at the menu online, you write down what number you want on a sheet of paper. There's so much I want. So there's sushi, there's sashimi, there's tempura, there's yakitori. So each one of these have a different section. There's also agimono. Oh my gosh, there's so much. First round is here. Got some hand rolls and some tempura. Everything looks good. For the hand rolls, got Soft shell crab, seared salmon, also spicy tuna, regular salmon, and minced tuna. Itadakimasu. There's prawns, pumpkin, okra, I think pepper. These are good size hand rolls too. Home tasty soft shell crab, delicious sushi rice, crunchy nori, a little fish egg mayo mixed in. Oh 
that soft shell crab is delicious. So crunchy on the outside. But you can definitely taste that sweet, tender crab meat right in the middle, right where all the joints are right there. Not a ton of crab meat. This is the seared salmon. Mm. All right, some part of this is a little dry. Should have just left down seared. This should be good. Naki Toro. A lot of heat before that soft, tender tuna meat start dissolving on your tongue. Oh, this is very, very good. It's like a melty fish ice cream called spicy tuna. The fish is just so tender. And the spice comes from the added chachini. The tuna is clean. It just has that natural umami coursing through the fish. And there's a big piece inside the hair roll. The uncooked ones are fresh and tender. The cooked ones are nice and crispy. I think these are great. The only thing bad about the hand rolls. Mm, is that they will fill you up. I did not anticipate that. That might not have been a good move. I mean, it was a delicious move, but it may not have been a smart move. This place is getting hot. Wow. It's worth noting that I couldn't get a reservation for this place for about a week. I was booked out for about a week that I was trying to get the reservation. Finally got the reservation today. And it is 100% packed in here. I mean, this is about 30 minutes after they open. Freshly fried tempura. Mm. Oh, this is so light. Wow, wow, wow. The outside is so light and crunchy and delightful. Inside, beautifully tender and juicy. Mm. I don't think I've had tempura peppers before. Definitely get the tempura here. Also, just eat the tail. Mm. That's how perfectly fried this is. I got another one. So this is the veggie one. Mm. And this plate of veggies just came out of the fryer. I'm trying out this plate right out of the fryer right now. Don't make a mistake like I did. When the tempura came, I still had hand rolls. I was focusing on that. When the tempura comes, show it the respect and attention it deserves because it will reward you with some crunch. Sashimi platter is here. Got some octopus and some tuna. They definitely give you a lot here. I'm trying to pace myself because second order just went in. Third order, I want to get the shabu. You can actually get a shabu here. Hopefully, if eating hand roll in the beginning is not going to cost me a shabu. Wow. This octopus is snappy, it's sweet. One of my favorite things here today. Tuna I've had already. It's just so soft. Again, I'm not a sushi sashimi expert, but that's some make your tongue feel good kind of stuff. Just put in uh, our second round of orders. This place now has a line out the door. People can't get in. People are being turned away right now. You really need a reservation to come to this place. The only thing bad about this place is because it's so packed, food is not getting here very quick. So one thing I learned, if I'm gonna come back again, I would just pour all my orders out in the beginning and just let it slowly trickle in. I just kind of been doing it in waves. No, 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 just give them a sheet with all your orders in there and then they'll just start bringing it out. Don't do what I did. So I've been waiting for about uh, 15 minutes and finally the soft shell crab came in. I love their soft shell crab. This one obviously is not gonna be as crunchy as the tempura version. But if you want the crunchy part, chew on the legs. This is my favorite. The joints right here. That meat is piping hot and so soft and sweet. I love this. Food may not come as fast as I would like, but they do come piping hot. Cold soba. Also on the menu. Mm. For some reason, I've just been craving cold soba. Pretty much every day I'm in Singapore. Maybe because of the heat, I don't know. But this is so refreshingly nice. A little sweeter than I would like, but refreshing nonetheless. Okay, my fish and katsu is here. This might, unfortunately, this might be my last dish because I got about um, 25 minutes to eat this and I don't think uh, more stuff is coming out, although I did place another order. I wanted to get the shabu before leaving too, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. So I got sear salmon, salmon belly, and this is the katsu.
I think overall for this place, I like a lot of the stuff that I had. The salmon is dry. Whether it's in a hand roll, or it's cooked, or it's seared, it's just dry. This thing though, this looks completely different. Salmon belly, look at this. Beautifully seared, a layer of fat on top. And oh yeah, this thing doesn't even know what the word dry means. If you come here, you order a lot of this. This absolute perfection. So fatty, a little gelatinous. You can taste the char, which gives it a slight smoky flavor. Not only is this juicy, this thing is just exuding juice. So much fat in here. Oh. Every bite you take, it just sits on your tongue. The salmon belly starts melting. You just want to close your eyes and savor that moment. This is 100% the best thing I had here. Add a little wasabi on here to balance out that nice fatty flavor. Forget everything else. I was just come here and keep ordering this over and over again. Best dish here by far. Pork katsu with scrambled eggs and onions on top. And it is delicious. I gotta say, there's also an a la carte option here. So if you don't want the buffet, you wanna get the a la carte. Their dishes are superb, especially something like this. Mm. The egg is perfectly soft. The onions are crunchy and sweet. Katsu is soft on the outside with all that great sauce soaked in, but also retains a little bit of crunch. Again, add a little wasabi to that. Mm. Awesome. We're in Southeast Asia. I'm gonna see this a lot. A whole fish head. And here they got a whole seared salmon head included on the buffet. And this thing looks ferocious. Look at the teeth. Just turn it over and it's gonna have all that great meat and fat right around the head area. That's some great tender meat on the fish that people usually neglect. You should not. Right here in the neck region. The meat is gelatinous -y. it's very tender, and there's so much of it. This in the salmon belly, a couple of great dishes to get here. My time is almost up. Like I said, you've got to order everything right away. If you're here for the buffet, this place gets packed. Come with as many people as you can, so you can try a lot of different things. This was definitely a good first learning experience here. I'll definitely be back. Now that I have my strategy in place, there's definitely more stuff on the menu I want to try, especially the shop, I want to try that. There's more fish items, there's more sashimi items. In the words of the great California governor slash Terminator, I'll be back. All right, so I misunderstood. I thought it said two hour limit. It, it actually said two people minimum. I just saw a two, I thought automatically it was a two hour limit. I'm stupid, I can't reason a lot of times, but they do only open for three hours for lunch and we got here a little over two hours ago, so right now, time is running out because you gotta put in your last order 30 minutes before they close, so I think I could have had time for some shabu. It's gonna have to be next time. Um, they do have a lot of ice cream though, so I got double chocolate, coconut, they also have Dorian and chocolate chip. So the price of this buffet is about 52, 53 Singapore dollars. So that's about 37 US. But there's a lot of stuff on this menu. Tons of sushi, sashimi, hand rolls, tempura, deep fried foods, fish, shabu. Oh, that's one more dish that didn't come here. I got a udon ball. Oh, that never showed up. Well, there's udon bowls. I would recommend getting a hot tea because it's free refills. The service is really attentive to keep filling the teacup, which I appreciate. Food is good. It comes right out of the kitchen. It's a la carte, all you can eat. So nothing sitting under the buffet light of death. Overall quality food is really good. Especially love the salmon belly. Amazing. Tempura is delicious. Katsu is good. This is a very quality all you can eat Japanese buffet. My advice though, come as soon as they open so you can maximize your time here because there's gonna be a lot of stuff you wanna order. All right, gonna finish my ice cream and there's a hawker center around here that I wanna check out. Walking 18 minutes in this heat and going to a hawker center that is not air conditioned. Ah, oh, things I do for food. Here it is, Alexandra Village Food Center. This place, I don't think I've ever been in this hawker center before. Right here, Song Lee Stewed Beef. I'm at this hawker center right now. There's this uncle selling stewed beef. It looks like there's potatoes in there, or this could be a radish. It's a potato. 
much better than radish. There's also radishes in here. It's stewed in this dark, rich broth that smells like a million Asian grandma's kitchen's good. The beef looks amazingly tender. I got a version here with the tendon, and you get a bowl of rice, you get a bowl of soup, all for eight Singapore dollars, so about five bucks for this home-cooked gorgeous meal. The only bad thing is, as I was taking my uh, camera lens off the camera, fell promptly into my suit. So that's a negative. Oh. Oh. I know I was complaining about that walkover. I will walk 10 times that distance in that heat, in the jeans I'm wearing right now, to have a bowl of this. I don't even want to eat anymore right now. I just, just want to savor that moment I just had with it. They're making the best bowl of stewed beef I might have ever had in my life to memory. This thing, as soon as it touches your teeth, And for the next 10 to 20 seconds, your taste buds are in a hypnotic bliss. Oh my God. Mm. It's herby. You taste the medicinal flavors. There's definitely some cumin, some star anise. That wonderful potato just stewing and soaking up that gorgeous beefy elixir. I try a piece of this tender. Mm. This is never a bad bite. The vegetable is so great because everything is so soft here. So the vegetable provides fantastic snappy crunch when it's paired with that delightfully soft beef. Mmm. Mmm. You dunk it in that hot sauce. It's spicy and sour. Definitely cuts into that rich sauce a bit. I'm even excited to eat a carrot. Yeah. Carrots, radishes. As long as it's soaking in this thing, it's gonna be good. And he gives it to you in this fiery pot, which I've never seen before at a hawker center. So it keeps the beef hot and boiling as you're enjoying it with some sauce, some beef, some hot sauce. Mm. Yeah, this is one of my most highly recommended places in Singapore. There's also a little vinegary flavor here as well, but for eight Singapore dollars, this is such a good deal. Oh, I wanted to try this duck rice here. Yeah. Completely sold out at like two in the afternoon. Ooh, I see something I haven't had since the last time I was in Singapore. Bakute. I swear. I just saw a guy catch a chicken and put it in his bag. That's not legal here, right? Maybe that's his pet chicken? I'm not sure what just happened. I mean, it happened kind of quick. He was just there. Um, I, I hear the chicken just kind of going crazy a little bit. Then he just put it in his jacket and walked away. He's an agent for Colonel Sanders. Is it Lieutenant Sanders? I, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I've been wanting to try Baku tea for a while. And I was just walking by one that had the best of Singapore sign on there, which is a great indication of how good a hawker stall is. It's so heartbreaking to see the uncle working in there. You obviously suffering from back problems and just in this like crazy heat working his stall. This is also why I really appreciate the hawker culture here in Singapore. It really is a culture. And I said this many times, my videos come to Singapore and try it out before it disappears because it's not a lot of it is not getting passed down most young people don't want to be in a hot stall sweating over a wok all day or a stove all day and this is really a taste of Singapore really a taste of traditional culture here and that's one of the reasons why I love this country so much oh that thing tastes amazing. I don't know if it's the chilies I added. I only added a few, but it is spicy now. But that broth just feels so good in my stomach. Ribs are good. But really, it's just about that broth. Now, bakuche, it is a tea. It's a meat bone tea. So pretty much a meat bone soup. This one is peppery in each spoonful. Mmm. You taste all that goodness of the bone. This has definitely been stewed a while. Of course, that nice hit of star anise, white pepper. This is one of the iconic comfort foods here in Singapore. Like your whole body just feels better, even though it's such a hot day. I feel my body cooling down, no joke. I feel my mood get better. I feel calmer. This is such a delicious dish, and there's many different versions. For me, the pepperier, the better. And this is definitely peppery. Another reason I love hawker centers. After you eat, you want some dessert? Shaved ice. Pretty much every food court, you're gonna find these dessert plates that sell giant shaved ice for about two Singapore dollars. So about a dollar US 
or you can just go there and create whatever you want. So today I went up and I asked them to uh, put some ice, some syrup on the ice, and then throw on some soursop and some atop seeds. So that's what they did. This is how you gotta cool off after a Hawker Center meal every single time. I mean, this is a small one too. You can literally get a giant sized shaved ice for 180, I'm looking at it right now. And they squeeze some calamansi juice on top for some added tanginess. Mm. So today, I went to an awesome all-you-can-eat Japanese buffet. Super popular with the locals, so make sure you get a reservation. And then if you want, do what I did, walk about 18 minutes to this hawker center and try out one of the best stewed beef. Just indescribable. You gotta come and try it. And then grab some bakute and get a dessert. Best part of being in Singapore. Food like this is everywhere. And as always, all plays I went to list down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.